Alongside and uh, coach, opening comments on the ball game. You got out early, yep. but then St. Mary's was able to weather that storm. Yeah, we got off to a great start. Unfortunately, uh, after that, it was really, really tough for us to score. And uh, I'm proud of the way we defended. I thought we did a great job. If you would have asked me before the game what I thought the issue might be, I thought it would be tough to defend them. They're a fantastic offensive team. And in fact, it, it was the other way around. It was hard. It was just impossible for us to score. And uh, if you would have told me we could hold them to 43% from the field, only allow 11 threes, I would have thought we had a good chance to win. Um, but you can't, you can't shoot 33 from the field and 24 from three and expect to beat a really good team. Yeah, rebounding, uh, obviously a concern tonight. The Gales won the battle of the boards rather convincingly, 46-31. Yep. That's now three games in a row where we've seen that happen. So obviously that's something that you probably want to address with your club. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is uh, – and, and the other issue with that is that St. Mary's isn't a very good offensive rebounding team. They, uh, their bigs did a good job. I thought they were a little quicker to the ball. Um, and, yeah, we, we got – as I addressed our team – uh, right now told them if, if we can have a couple guys that can go clean up the glass that would be a good way for guys who aren't playing as much to get some more minutes in, in the rotation so uh, you know we, we got to figure out what our optimal lineup is what our optimal rotation is uh, I thought going smaller would make us better offensively and, and it didn't so now we'll continue to go back and, and figure out what's going to give us the best chance. You bring that point up about the rotation, and I was going to ask you about that because you did make a change with your starting lineup going to yep. Khalil Shabazz. So what was the, the mindset there? You know, he's just been playing really well. And, uh, you know, I thought Tavi did a nice job on the defensive end, but he wasn't giving us anything on the glass, and he wasn't scoring for us. And against this team going into the game, we thought we needed to find a way to score to beat him. And obviously that, that was still a problem as we had uh, – made that adjustment to the lineup. But Khalil's just been one of our best players, and I thought put him in the starting lineup would give him the best chance to play the most minutes out there over the course of the game. You know, one thing we saw here tonight, not just with this ball game, but really around the league, aside from the Gonzaga-Portland game where they got into the 80s and 70s, baskets are kind of tough to come by sometimes in league play. A couple of games in the 50s and this one here tonight as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think teams obviously know each other really, really well, uh, especially tonight. I think both these teams knew each other really well and what player tendencies were and what they wanted to do. Um, and, and generally when it gets to conference play, things tend to grind and, and get a little slower. So I think uh, that's, that's kind of normal. I think you'll see that more and more as the year goes on. Um, but uh, we just got to score the ball a little better to, to win. We've seen this team uh, always bounce back well from tough defeats. You go on the road at Portland, so you got to go out of your home environment. It's a place where over the years USF has had some success. The Pilots were ahead tonight at halftime against Gonzaga. Uh, Gonzaga came back and won by 13, 85-72. At one point, the Pilots were 8-3. and three. They hit a yep. little bump in the road in that holiday tournament in Hawaii. But still, that's going to be a, a tough environment. What do you expect from the Pilots? They're, they're much improved uh, this year. They really are. Coach Porter's done a good job with that group. They've gotten a lot better. And uh, it's going to be a really, really hard game. That's just the bottom line. We went up there with a lot of confidence last year, and, and we were only able to win, you know, by a bucket or two in overtime, I think the game went. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that we talked about with our guys. As soon as we leave the arena tonight, we got to flip the switch because that game's going to be here before you know it. And if you go up there with anything less than a great effort, you're, you're not going to win. And that would be a really tough way for us to start the season going 0-2. So I think our backs are up against the wall a little bit. I think our guys will respond well as we have over the course of the year. Coach, appreciate the postgame visit. We'll see you up in the Northwest. Yep, thanks a lot, Pat. All right, that's you.